Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where today we're talking about movies and one movie in particular which is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Probably in terms of the top movies of this year would be a close second to the best one which was Captain America Winter Soldier. And as you can imagine, there are many merchandise and product tie-ins with The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And I have several of them here today. And I'll start off first with the cheese it Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now, this has a shot of Spider-Man on the front. On the back here, you have a game you can play by cutting out a piece there and you flip the crackers onto this game board and these are just standard Cheez-It crackers. I would give Cheez-It crackers a 3 out of 5 in terms of their uh, very good cheese cracker, probably the best on the market of that type, but they don't have any sort of rich coating on them or anything. And these are the standard cheese it with some special Spider-Man 2 designs on them. And I just want to zoom in here so you can see what's on each of these five different crackers. The swinging Spider-Man on the left. Spider-Man's mask on the top there, logo of the spider, the bottom center, spider web on the top right, finally the slick logo of the amazing Spider-Man movies there on the bottom right. for the last hour of the movie? Well, I went ahead and did it. And it's all your fault. Fifteen minutes ago, I looked like Leo DiCaprio. Now look at me. I'm ruined. I'm going to take your girlfriend, your web shooters, and your little dog too. Let's bring this board meeting to order. Order, I say. Felicia Hardy, Oscorp Human Resources records indicate that you were in charge of maintaining Norman Osborne's Argyle sock drawer. As such, I am now naming you my secretary and all-around Girl Friday. <laughs> Felicia, clear my schedule. Hold all my calls. I'm having a real-life fashion emergency. This symbiote mask has been cutting the circulation off. I've had this thing on so long that Kirsten Dunst is actually starting to resemble the original Mary Jane Watson from the comics. Now, power up my super sled. I mean, why have a car or a jet like Batman when you can have this sled to fly around on? The girls are crazy about it. Here I go flying over New York City. I look down over there, I see the Jonathan Levine Gallery for the Roger Gassman exhibit, August 6th to 23rd. Now it's taking me to a studio high above Times Square where I'm going to co-host Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Brian Seacrest. Felicia, Send in Mr. Seacrest. Ryan, people come from all over the world for New Year's Eve in Times Square. Nothing else like it in the world. Look down there. Millions of pieces of paper. And they'll have to pick up each one of them. The crews will be out there all night. Look at it, Ryan. Look at it! program note. Mr. Seacrest has suddenly fallen ill and I will be handling the host duties. 
for this rockin' Eve. Now hear this, all you suckers who tuned in and thought you were gonna see Adam Levine and Drake dance their pants off. Forget about it, it ain't gonna happen. It's canceled. Turn off the boob tube and go to bed. Or at least turn on the Robert Dyer channel and subscribe on YouTube for real entertainment. That's right, television audience. You just got victimized by the green boblin. Baba Booey to y'all. Baba Booey, Baba Booey, woo! Now we go to a second product here. These are Club Crackers Minis. And they have a Spider-Man contest here on the back. You see the Spider-Man and Electro picture from the movie. And now these are ostensibly miniature versions of the classic Club Cracker. And here you can see they are very small. It's definitely smell like a Club Cracker. So let's go ahead and see how it tastes. I would say I would give this five stars because it may even be more butter flavor than the regular club cracker. Very rich butter taste. Now we have the Spider-Man Happy Meal from McDonald's. The food is your basic selection of McDonald's Happy Meal items, but here you have the front with this little pop-out head of Spider-Man. Some games on the side, something to download to your tablet. But then the main thing people will probably be interested in is, are these collectible toys that came with it. Here's a Spider Man figure, surprisingly detailed for what you're getting free. Try to zoom in for some of the finer details there. See, they did a good job on the texture of the suit. Logo replication. Here on the back, you see the logo. A little button that lights up the figure. And then it's got this little button on the back that you can light the figure. So let's turn out the lights and see how that works. Now let's test out the light on the figure. Now through the magic of television, let's go to downtown Bethesda to try out the amazing Spider-Man ice cream at Baskin Robbins. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. So I would recommend you get lots of napkins with this flavor. It melts and goes down the side and changes to a dark ink color. It's on your hand, but overall colors are more to represent the costume than any actual flavors like fruit. More of a vanilla ice cream and then there are chocolate candies that are sort of like milk duds. So I would give this four stars. I thought it was very good and definitely great work on the colors of the ice cream to match the costume. And now our final product here is probably the most unique of these is the Rice Krispies treats. These are called Mighty Spidey Munchies. I don't know who came up with the name. You've got basically the standard 
Spider-Man picture on the front again. Now let's get this out of the package. You see your standard Rice Krispies treat, except it's got these multicolored candy pieces on top. You might say that was the Green Goblin and the blue and red of Spider-Man. Maybe orange for, I don't know what. Use your imagination. Standard Rice Krispies aroma. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, I think that the candy, it definitely does add a little bit extra flavor. A very sweet treat, a classic treat. I guess I would give this, uh, it's watering between three and four, but I guess with a little extra candy flavor, you might want to bump it up to four stars. So I definitely recommend trying out all these snacks, especially if you're a fan of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. And I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.